Take that arm. It is not holding anything in its arm, but it does in fact lose one. I will try to find an appropriate symbol for this. Uh, Probably that flexing arm. Yeah, flex. And just put a number one next to it. Yep, presumably he loses both of his arms. It'll be, uh, funny. Uh, Yadri. Uh, Yadri will roar and, well, I'll attack, yes. So he has two attacks, so that means he can twice, right? Uh, no, not an all-out attack. And then, yeah, there's a specific one that lets you use both your all your attack actions. Right, I think like swift attack or something. Yeah, that's what it's called. But um, right. you do outnumber it though, so you do have that bonus already. And it but is tied can... up, but you will have a what? total of plus thirty. Wait, so you can? I thought when you had two attacks, you could do two attack by per turn. Uh, right, you, you can do the two attacks, but you can't do the specific action all out attack. Oh yeah, no, I don't care. I just want to make. I just want to make two attacks. Yeah, you have to take the okay. swift attack action to use all of your attacks. No, 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 it's alright. This is the issue the troll had to go through, too, by the all way. Alright. You... One... Misses, the gun one. Oh, I've... No, plus 30, yeah, no, but no, none misses. Alright, so let's go ahead and handle the first hit, then. Alright, so that is, uh... 13, that is going to be a 6-point critical, and that is to its, uh, where does that go? The 29. Uh, that would be to its right arm, which is, uh, the good one still. Well, not for long. Well, yeah, yep. And you probably yell in, uh, in Dwarven, Come get me, fuckers! Something like that. I, I know the people right. doing voices today. <clears throat> yeah. Also, by the way, uh, out number 3 to 1 is only 20%. Right. But there are additional things that are all adding 20 here. Or, or normally would. Sorry, I'm uh, but yes. choking so... in the middle, so... Whatever you were saying before, I was just in the middle of looking that up earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you go ahead and smash it, and, uh, tell it to go to Dwarven Hell, which is a very specific place, uh, and there is now a another pile of rubble on the floor. The entire hallway is slightly, uh, covered in Geo now. Mordrin. Alright, um, Mordrin's been emboldened by that hit with the bola, so he's gonna throw a, no, well, draw and throw a throwing dagger at this. Okay, so it's not engaged in melee, so you do have a clear shot at it. I'm not going to guarantee I don't have the same problem with this thrown weapon as I did with the bolas. But this one's damage is minus three. And I still managed to hit? Holy you shit. You still managed to hit it. How much damage are we looking at for a dagger? All right, it will actually sink into it a little bit. I don't want to see how many of those I have and note that one off my sheet. I assume it's not going to break, so I can recover. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so now it is their turn, and things aren't looking too great for it. There's a whole hallway of a dwarf formation looking at them. So I'm going to ask for uh, people who have the line of sight to them to go ahead and make perception checks. Which will be the three dwarves, Berthold, and Mordrin. Just because he's a mutant doesn't mean he's not a dwarf. Shit. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Six degrees of success. I'm going to uh, fortune point that because this is important. 
Actually, this is a good question. Can Berthold actually see that far? Someone has the lantern. I disagree. I say this is not a good question. <laughs> um, Berthold has excellent vision. Your eyes are keen. Okay. Just throwing that out there. I don't know if that means anything to you. Uh, I think that just gives him the bonus on the perception. I'm just trying to remember if he could actually say anything. I'm just going to look at your sheet. Did you have a thingy item? I don't think you do. Who? For what? Uh, for being in the darkness. You've even said like you've been uh, attaching to the dwarves. Right, because one of them has a lantern. Uh, which one was that? Not mine. I think it was... Kazaril? Well, he's right up in in the business well, of I, it. Yeah, I literally said, not mine. And, Kaz and the one you would immediately say is, I think it was Kazaril. Mine? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember here. Uh, oh, here we go. Kazgar has it. And Kazgar is all the way over here. Yeah. So I should probably have kept that in mind, but... Uh, well, you could have dropped that. it. One it's way or another, even without Berthold uh, being able to actually see anything, uh, I don't think they're going to make it out with that check. Or at least that one isn't. What about the other one? It'll be fair though, perception is also based on sound. Right, right, but it doesn't apply to this particular check for very certain reasons. Well, fine then, I'll never be turned to stone. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing you do right. when you walk into the Basilisk Slayer is turn the lights off. <laughs> Hey, this one actually has one degree of success. Did anyone else get more than one degree of success? I think Gimli did? Yes. Wait, no, he's all the way over there. Oh, sure. Uh, Dimzad. I rolled the wrong one. Let me roll for Dimzad. Um, I mean, he has the same perception, doesn't he? <laughs> no, they're all random. All, all randomly right, well. generated. What number oh, does it bam, have? Oh, Black Betty. All yeah, right. Please. There uh, is no movement uh, out of them. Uh, back to Bird Hold the Blind. Full defense. Grimly, on the other side. Okay, Grimly. I guess Kazgar is going forward. Uh, so I'll just join up next to Kazgar and defend. All right. Uh, That's Kazaril. probably as far as we should go. I'll step over, and I will just attack. Okay. No extra bonuses on this, because there's nothing happening. Literally nothing happening. Uh, and you hit the wall. Asgar. Uh, delay action. First, first statue that comes into view gets uh, gets a cross bolt. In the end. All right. Dwarf at the ready. Dimzad. Uh, Dimzad is going to charge and flail. Oh yeah. Let's see that flail action. Oh, and that is a hit. <laughs> Double, <laughs> wow. <laughs> These That's dwarves are the quite frightening, I'll be honest. Just gotta figure out what that keyword means, though. 
Uh, so let's roll that con. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, that is still a hefty, hefty hit onto it. With the flail, so yep, sixteen damage. As you can f uh, see, the flail crack into the stone and expose one of the arms underneath it. So it didn't matter this time. But apparently tiring means that the impact quality of a flail only matters in the first round of melee. Wow. Weapons oh. with this quality are fatiguing to use. Alright, Yadri. Uh, wait. Oh, damn it. Here we go. That's the way you do it. Put your back into it. Uh, can you do a, a, a swift action, a swift attack with half action or a full action? Full. Hello. Full. I think he said full. Yeah. Full. Yeah. All right. So that's all. Because that, when, okay. when you get up to characters that have like three attack actions, it still makes sense. Yeah. So impact thirteen. And that was against uh, which one? The top one or the bottom one? Uh, the bottom one. All right. All right. His statue-destroying great hammer smashes into the opposite arm. Ordren. Holding my action to move to intercept any attacks on Berthold. All right, you're keeping a watch on danger. No one's coming for you. Uh, I'm a fool. All this time, Emmerich's been saying he had two attacks. I did not remember that Kazril has two attacks. Actually, uh, I'm going to change my action to uh, ready the Warhammer and move there, and then I can do that next round. Okay. I just realized I had no weapons drawn. Sort of important. Although, uh, uh, next 200 XP, I'm getting uh, Strike the Stun and um, Quick Draw. All right. So I believe it is uh, the dwarfs on this side. I can actually see these statues, so they will be making perception checks. Sweet. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, and I believe there are still two more. Or no, just one more. Or what? No, there's also... Yeah, yeah, the two yeah, other two ones more, here. Yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, Yadri and Dimzad, both uh, Emmerich and Alexa. Yeah. Uh, Yadri, Yadri, Yadri. Sorry, what, what just happened? Uh, mm -hmm. Perception check. All right, so we have all those. Let's see if they can manage to do anything. That is two degrees, but I believe that fails under Mordrin's uh, sharp eyes and his three degrees of success. Yep. And the other one does manage to get a single success, but again, Mordrin's sharp eyes. Keep everyone safe. Berthold. Full defense. Berthold needs to learn magic. <laughs> why is that? So you can catch Thunderbolts! That's why. Uh, yeah, but but you said you were doing full defense, right? Right. Yeah, but he's okay. fundamentally right. a pacifist, though, so... Yep, yep. Um, well, that spell that just... Heal and aid your companion. I cast silence on Gustav. You need to become a priestess <laughs> of Shalia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess Grimly is going to open the door next to him to see if maybe there's something in there. All right, you go ahead and uh, check the door. You open it up, and it appears to be a dining room. All 
Right. Okay. Hazaril. Uh, swift attack, so that I can use both of my attacks now that I remember I have to. Uh, Okie doke. Um, tech. You have friends, so you do have bonuses. To was it ten percent? Uh, I think so, given the circumstances. All right, that's the first one. So fifteen damage. I'm sorry, I'm just dying here. Ah. So seven. Alright, you take a great blow into its chest, revealing the rib cage underneath. Okay, so if it's not dead, I'll go with my second attack. Ah, yes, that's true. Second attack. Ah, uh, one off. One off. Uh, Kazgar is up next, on the other side. Grimly has opened a door and revealed a dining room. Uh, I don't trust this always, so same thing. Ready action to smash. All right. Never come. Dimzad. Smash of the statues. Yep. No. 77. All right. Uh, that was just the one attack. I believe it goes to mm -hmm. Yadri next. Uh, you did add in your bonus there, right? Uh, well, I added 20. Okay. For the all-out attack, but yeah. Uh, well, you do have the... Uh... Oh, not on this guy. This guy has outnumber. Yeah, not on the one I'm on, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Yadri. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, swift attack on this one. Okay. Two attacks incoming. Let's see what happens to him. Uh... First one. Second one. M. 22 damage in the head. 22. Oh, uh, th that's for separate attacks. Okay. Yeah. All right, so do do do. Eight. All right. <clears throat> you have smashed open its head, revealing the skull underneath. Its jaw wide open, uh, like the statue's was, as its teeth crumbled to the ground. Ordrin. All right. Uh, going to hold action to charge the first one that breaks out of this formation over here. Okay. Their turn. Uh, I will need the same group to make perception checks. And we will see if they manage to do anything. I think I may have made it too hard for them. I don't know, we all just failed so far, except for Mordren who hasn't rolled yet. This is true. Oh, no, man. Sorry, perception? Yeah, perception isn't very good for us, so... I mean, Berthold's amazing at it. It's just, he can't see in the dark. And the right. torch, or the lantern, is on the other side of the hall. <laughs> one of them is not going anywhere. And the other one... <clears throat> has as odds as good as anyone else. Uh, that is one... Yeah. Or Everyone did not necessarily fail... a lot harder than he did. So, he also is still there. Berthold. Full defense. Alright, Grimly. Um, okay, since nothing's kind of coming down the hallway, I'm going to move 
further south. Okay. And uh, so far, I don't see anything. But that's it for, and just keep defense. Okay. Has a real swift attack. Break it. We say this is 10 or 20? Uh, 10. All right, so that is a first hit for 15. That is going to come down to an 8-point critical, too, it said. Which turns into a 9. Strike down. All right. Uh, I don't think it's coming out of this. Sure, I'll go with a overhead blow that comes down on top of its head and just goes crushes it down all the way to the uh, foot. Indeed, in a single blow, you pulverize both the statue of Geode surrounding it and the skeleton underneath, leaving nothing but a pile of rubble behind. Kazgar. Uh, Kazgar will yell to Grimly, we should get to the others. And you will just... One... Ooh. Boy. Damn it. Three. All right. Imzad. All out attack. Do it. There's one remaining. You have a plus 10 flanking bonus. Friendship. Thirteen damage to the head. That comes out to a one point critical. Oh boy. <sighs> And not take actions. Ha! Huh. Uh, Yadri. Oh, uh, swift attack. Uh. Uh. Oh. No, wait. I think I have a plus 10 because we have number him. Yep. 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 Yes, All you right. do. So, so it, it hits. Oh. It, ooh, for very minimal. In fact, your weapon glances back off of it. Yeah, but then... Then the follow-up is much stronger. Uh, so that is going to be a five-point critical. Oof. To his left leg, right leg. And you come in low, trying to undercut it. <laughs> And I'm going to qualify that as demolished. This nice. is not necessarily bleeding out, but it is not coming back after that. All right. You stand surrounded in a pile of rubble, and you hear no more noises. Dimzad, you can kind of see from where you are, past the uh, statue of rubble and bone, there's no body in this room anymore. Um, I think it's worth noting that and saying, uh, do you think these, uh, geo statue things were, looks like they had bodies underneath them. They seem like undead to me. Yeah. Something is going on in this, uh, in this whole what did you do of the moving statues? I don't think there are statues somewhere. Uh, Grimly is the cartographer, so they would all, I guess, regroup to their employer. Yeah. As one does. So I and feel like... We've got bad news to the whole scenario down here. 
if the geodes are attaching themselves to skeletons and then creating these statue-like monsters, then that means there's potentially hundreds of these things down here. Which makes it not just a threat to Middenheim, but it seems unlikely that you'll be able to recover your ancestral home. Oh, shit. Still, there's one thing if I would like... They can be like created, they can be uncreated, I suppose. Perhaps if we just break every skull we come across before it wakes back up, that would help. Be a way of sending them through a rightful rest rather than this monstrous existence. Sorry, my voice thing went out there. Did anybody hear anybody thing what I said? Uh, a little bit. Um, basically, as the cartographer would go back and uh, explain what was said and what have you. Oof, we're just uh. Man, my connection is breaking up. Yeah, same here. I think just the server itself is uh very wonky. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me see about switching uh, what server we're on. And of course, seeing Emmerich get back too. All right, testing. Looks like we're looks like we're good. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah okay. I I, yeah, I changed us to uh, U.S. South. I don't remember what we were on before. I think Central. All right, but uh, here we are now, uh, and the question has been posed: Well, what is to be done? Well, yeah. Hundreds of dwarf bodies, lots of geode. Right, I'm saying it's a definitely a dangerous scenario, one that threatens the entirety of Middenheim, as well as Simple. blocks any further, um, you know, resettlement of this place. But you know what it doesn't stop? This expedition. That's right. Yep. We should continue to search out this manor. There has to be more information and clues as to what's going on down here. Well, one thing in particular I'm looking for, I was told by a white wizard that I had some magic in my blood. I was hoping to see if my clan was one of the few uh, runesmith clans, and if maybe some tools could be recovered. There's no I would like claim to them. Runesmith is a, is a caste, not a clan. Oh, I, I had read it as um, certain clans. Yeah. To be fair, though, if you're wrong, it is well within your character to not understand dwarven culture. Yeah. Well, who knows? There might be a contingent of the family that was a part of that. Yes. Yeah, so if we could recover a set of tools, I would hope that my employer would allow me to lay claim to them. Well, at that point, it becomes a matter of division. Again, everybody here is entitled to a share. Very well. But again, that also comes out at the end, not during. Don't count your money while you're sitting at the table, I believe a <laughs> wise philosopher once said. Well, I Was for that one William thing... Nelson? No. I say we keep searching. All right. So then on that note, <clears throat> we will transition ah. away from the depths. Ah. And back. Back over to uh, Bade Esselberg. Right in there was uh, something else going on. Yeah, the underpants gnomes. They're Indeed. Stealing. 
They are dragging cannons behind them, holding boxes in their arms. They are trying to get away. And I believe Gustav had just decided that he was going to oppose this. Yes. Now, I thought I brought along one of the uh, tokens for Wind Blast, so I'm going to copy that again. Uh, not Wind Blast, no. Uh, I mean, I'm going to put it over here for reference for later. Uh, do we roll initiative or do... Uh, I believe we will roll initiative to at least see if you act before they do. Which means no, I will have to uh, clean this off real quick. And I will go ahead and roll one initiative for all of them. Uh, I suppose I should roll them for the guards and Victor as well. Stunned as Victor is. Actually, this might be a good time to go ahead and hand over control of the uh, default henchmen to everyone. Or at least they are already there, so let me go ahead and um totally not a Skaven and Skaven and our uh two other players, Mordrin and uh Birdhold, can go ahead and take control of those two when their turns pop up. So on a descending initiative, Victor is the first to act. And he seems incredibly confused uh, as you have taken the life of the uh, one in front of you after having already negotiated his release. So he is just a little startled. He will go ahead and wait. Alexa, you are up first. I am charging the closest one with my axe out, saying you will not take that. And I will ax it. All right. Axing it a question. This one seems to be heavily injured already. Which In one? In fact, you may have uh, faced this one oh, already. Come on. Fortune point. Okay. You're, you're not letting him get away. And you, Ulrich's <laughs> Fury, it. This is a fortunate a day for murdering things, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I still 14 damage. All right. That is still 14, and I believe that is probably going to end up as a critical, but precisely that is to his body. Uh, doop a doop doop. Yep. So that comes out to, uh, <clears throat> a nine point critical which will probably murder him I smash his body in half um, entrails spewing everywhere go ahead and uh, do free hand putting the sexy back in bisect thing <laughs> All right, yeah, there's now go. a bloody pile where once this creature was. Uh, it is now totally not a Skaven's turn. Uh, who would like to take control of that one? I shall. All right, you are totally not a Skaven. What is totally not a Skaven doing? I'm looking for him right now. Where is he? Bottom right. Well, I don't see a sheet, so I don't know how to roll. Henchman. There we go. Show to players. All right. His move is four. So we're going to run. And run is 12. So he can do 12. 12 meters. Or is it 12 spaces? 
I think it's 12 spaces. I think last time I said they were opening the door. I'm going to have it open. All right, so I get the moves. All right, so you have moved inside. Yes. All right, Skaven's turn. Actually, he's going to stay back here so he has enough t space to charge them. Okay. Oh, nope. So, Skaven's two turn. He is going down the street. Going for a flank maneuver. All right. Hidden people. One of them has X amount of movement. So he is going to go ahead and open the door and then go one, two, three, four, and get up to this wall. And everyone else is actually going to go ahead and follow with him. And the Skaven 2 can sort of see that it looks like there's an open door over here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape. And yeah, I'll make it red. I can't actually see uh, over there. Yeah. From my point of view, there's just this... Uh... I can't draw from where it is. This is still all black for me. I'm still in the darkness. So I really can't actually see anybody that's running. Oh, out I guess of the I building. have to give these guys, like, uh. No, they have sights. Yeah, no, I, that's what I'm saying. He's still in the darkness for me. I can't see anything that's going on around the corner. Okay, yeah. I'm just... That's what I'm trying to indicate. It's still. It is still darkness along that line. Got it? Right. Okay. okay. Uh, you do not quite see what is happening, but uh, things are in fact happening. So it is now Gustav's turn. Uh, I guess I can still see one of them. Yeah, uh, all they, the way downtown. Did they flee the map, or did and they just that one the, is still uh, right exactly where he is. But the other, like, can I get them with a wind blast? That uh, that's question. Question. Uh, the others are on the other side of a. I don't think you could actually see it either yet. So you don't know. All right. Um, I'm gonna try uh, doing something else then. Ah. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna roll with my um, my 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 geode. Well, no geode, my crystal ball. I don't know. Rainbow gem. Rainbow gem. Yes. Well, that's right. You took a geode thing out of there, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you've killed everybody, you son of a bitch. I want everybody to not go back in there. No, I just mean that if those things are raising the dead as statues. And you're, by the time you guys get back to Middenheim, it's going to be this outbreak in the cemetery of Whoops. statues. Yeah, because who opened Pandora Box? Um, no ingredients. Wait, wait. Um, so my... Um, hmm. Right. 3 plus 1 because of the crystal. No, no ingredients. Just off searching through his bag like, oh, where's my human heart? Um, come on. Has a fifteen off of four <laughs> dice. You went all in for it and came up with nothing. That sucks. Yeah. I do rather like the idea that he does have everything in his bag, though. Shit, human finger from a wizard. Uh, broken mirror. Ah, there's my weather <laughs> vane. <laughs> all right. How far could Victor <sighs> go? Victor is going to try. Going around this way. I'll get him on this side, and she will get the other one. Alexa. They're all running out the door. I'm going to charge after them. Charge, roar! You 
a charge, and you can see a number of them are stepping through a door that you don't remember being there. And it looks like these two are holding the door open. Ah, it's swing and a miss. Let's see oh, what the dude, I'm on the wrong thing. character. Sorry. Oh, whoop. <laughs> yeah, let's give Alexa a chance. I think, uh... I think Alexa thinks she might die. <laughs> Why else is hey. Bray enough all of a sudden? <laughs> I was just looking over that profile. But yes. All right, that is a kick to its head. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's this dead gnome everywhere. For another 10, that's 24. Uh, to do, so 24 minus 13 is still 11. Uh, if you want to know what happens to this, uh, there's not much of it left. Yeah, that background uh, freehand. Bulldozing through them. There is a uh, fine red mist where he once existed. And the other one is just looking on up at you with blank dead eyes. Totally not a Skaven. I guess it is also worth noting that they have in fact taken the uh two cannons that are there. But they have dropped most of the boxes. Uh, so That's totally fine. Not... Guess what's finding divination? I believe Totally Not Escaven was Mordron. Uh, Arcoid? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, running. So let's um, check run speed. I think it's a 12. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're moving up. Yes, going there. There you go. You take the other side of him. Uh, leaving Skaven too. Yeah, I'm charging. All right. Well, you got plenty of friendship going on here, so that is going to bring you up to plus 30 total, I think. He's just holding the box and looking very awkward right here. Well, I miss. And you miss. He's going to give just a look at all of you, and he's going to take a step backwards into the door. And he's going to take several steps inside. Well, let's... And then look at you and wait and see what you do. The door is still open. Gustav. Uh, so we couldn't have gotten. He didn't. He didn't do anything else during his turn, so it might as well have been a disengage. It's basically. Yeah, it is a disengage action that he's doing. If he had closed the door, I would have argued, but he didn't do anything. He just watched us and stepped backwards. Yep. What's he just mind? backpedals, holding the box, just staring at you with his beady eyes. I'm gonna run. Gustav, charge. And I believe that's um, God, a full action. Yep. Right? Victor. That is six squares. Can he... He can get right to the bloody stain and step right into it. But he can't get to the door. Alexa, what are you going to do? Are you going to go into the door? Yes. All right. We'll hand you you in a second. You are in a dark area. Totally not a Skaven. Are you going to go in? Uh, that is Arkeloid. I was pressing the wrong key for push to talk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> going to... Uh... 
I changed my mind anyway, which is good. Let me check. All right, move of four. So going in four and uh, seeing what there is to see before I go any further. Uh, inside, it looks like it is a dark room, and you can see that there are some glowing lights inside, but that is about it. Okay, are you so going to go in? Is Yes. Is there no sign of anybody else that went in? There's Once just the one in there, but I will handle you in a second as okay. soon as you step inside. So, totally not a Skaven has stepped inside. Skaven 2. Charge attack. You charge in as well. You open the box. You called us. And as you all do, the door closes behind you. Victor watches the door close and sees it vanish from his own sight as Gustav arrives to see no door at all. Yeah, but I can do something about that. Indeed. So we'll handle that in one sec. Oh, I thought you say, we'll handle that in one week. <laughs> Next time. Uh, dress yes, ball. Well, yes, you got a whole 30 seconds. Um, uh, do, do, do. You head through the door, dark though the other side is. Within is a space lit only by the light green glow of the walls themselves in intermittent patterns suggesting constantly changing script. To one end, you see a large green tube. A man is inside of it, floating in some sort of liquid. Innumerable metal devices are sunk into his flesh and connect him to the ceiling of his tank. Beside this is a crate of clothing what? and a woodcutting axe. What? His eyes move in stark horror to look at you, but then the rest of his body doesn't move. To the other end, you see the outline of another door, illuminated by light coming from behind it. Beside it is one of the small red hidden people, standing stiff, looking at you blankly, one hand outstretched towards a small button next to the door. The door behind you has closed, and you can see the hidden person uh, with a box, standing in the center of the room, and a third one standing next to the door and appears to have closed it before. He was invisible behind it, of course. So there are three of them in the room with you. One of them is looking at you from across the room, finger on a button. What do you do? I going to say what the fuck, but I forgot aliens were thinking. <laughs> well, didn't, uh, didn't I take the charge action, which means I still in a mid-strike? Indeed. Uh, so, mid-stride, charging in. Actually, honestly, the whole lot of you. Yeah. Okay, where is the... Uh, uh, so, if you want the... to go ahead and slaughter the one in the middle, uh, yeah, Alexa and uh, Skaven 2 can both go ahead and take their actions to hit and try to murder it. Okay. I already missed. Alexa Smash. Oh, God. Does Totally Not Escaping have enough um, move to finish going up to him if he has a move of four? They have 14. <laughs> uh, since bad, yo. you indicated he was being more cautious, he is closer to the uh, where the door used to be. Okay, so... Um, that definitely looks like another four. splattered gnome, though. He will move forward closer to the closest gnome he can see, then, if he can see any. Uh, well, there is one directly beside where the door used to be. And that is the closest one. He is the uh, one who closed the door. Uh, so he could move back to him, then. Indeed. And just get up in his grill. Alright, you're gonna just, uh, oh, stab up into his grill. Yes, you can go ahead and do so. Well, you can't move an attack because you already took move action to get in, right? Because I, uh, I was talking about because you, you had only given me the one action to walk into the door before I could see what else was going on, and then... Right, you've chosen to not be quite as blindsided by everything. Yeah. 
So, uh, uh, by which I mean, of course, uh, that one will choose not to make a will save. The other two will go ahead and make will saves to uh, get an insanity point. Oh boy. So, uh, Alexa and our. Ironically, uh, though, if I fail the save, he gets an insanity point because we're Sarah Sheet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. So they could go double insane. Well, well but at I least passed they're not anyway. going double insane. Though. Oh boy, I gained an insanity point. After your bloody murder, you have a moment of clarity. You have no idea where you are. This is definitely not the building on the other side of this wall. You're in enemy space surrounded. And this guy over in the tube is more or less mutilated. And it is a terrifying, horrifying sight. Yay. But, of course, it does wrap around back to them, then. And given your hostile actions, the uh, hidden person on the other side of the room presses the button. <laughs> the door beside him opens up and you are briefly blinded by light, before you see darkness and gray, desolate stone. A blast of wind passes you by, and everything goes silent, voice and breath leaving your lungs as your eyes and mouth sizzle and burn without heat. The hidden person does not move or seem disturbed at all by this change of events. Uh, we just get blown into space? Nope. He does not even move at all. No, I'm saying, did we just get blown into space? No. You are still feet firmly planted in place. You just felt the wind. Oh, okay. I th Sorry. After what uh, Emmerich said a second ago, I just have this weird, different mental image now of what's going on. <laughs> I mean... Me too, I must admit. Alright. So that qualifies as their turn. Uh, and they are still staring at you, but it is now on the other side of the barrier. Gustav. There's no door there. Victor is just kind of pointing and going, what? what you, oh, go? huh. I, uh, they went inside. We have to get inside the building. I think there's a doorway on the other side. The only thing I could guess would take uh, 18, 18 rounds. <sighs> Three minutes. Uh, uh, what could I do? I guess I'm gonna try to use my magic senses to try to find the door. If I uh, can. Well, you can definitely sense, uh, as you had before, that, uh, go ahead. Go ahead and roll. Let's see if you can actually notice it. Okay, yeah. As before, the ant-like quality of everything here. There's definitely some sort of tunnel burrowed into the side of this that is beyond the senses of mortal men. Can I... Somehow it goes through the wall, but there's not in this, but not here. Can I try to access it? How are you going to do that? I thought I was going to use my magic senses to find how to, where to, if there is violent touch, or a contention, or I could try to dispel. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll try that. It's okay. a full action to dispel. So, go ahead and take a full action. All right. Uh... Do these guys not have shields? Uh, good question. They might not. Ah, uh, you roll high enough, cause a spell within 12 yards of you to prematurely... This can be used to dispel any ongoing spell, but not ritual magic. Immediately end the target spell with successful channeling test. But you suffer a minus 10 penalty per point of the original caster's magic characteristic. Trying to spell bless me. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work now that I read it. Uh, 
So. Uh. Uh, do give me a channeling test with a minus twenty. All right. <sighs> All right. You try your best, and nothing happens. I'm going to go ahead and use this guy as a counter. Alright, Victor is still scrambling at the wall and going, Quick, I think if we go around, we can get to it. No, they're not, they're not even here, no, that's for the portal. Right, so it's, it's, it's got to go somewhere, it goes to the other side, right? It was a door. No, no it doesn't, no, it's a magic portal. Well, then where did they go? I... Through a portal? What? I don't Where? exactly know. I don't didn't okay. manage it. Okay, 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 okay. And he just uh, hyperventilates right in front of you. Puts like both of his hands on his cheeks and just like extends them out and goes, oh, Oof, okay. Okay. So we don't know where they went, but where were they going? <sighs> He's awful. <laughs> He's awful. <laughs> I hate him. Victor will like take a step towards you and like uh grab your leg and like give it a little shake. It's like, no, no, they where do they go? Where are they taking the cannons? The mutant. Yeah. I don't remember his name, I think. I think you said like Marvel or something. But but where yeah. is he? I don't know. They took him away. Well if well if we find them, then maybe we can find these guys again. Maybe. It's the only thing I think of. If only, if only the Henji stood stuck with uh, me. Let me just. Let me. I can open the door. I think I just need some time. All right. Uh, g give it a shot. I guess. Uh, at I'm least glad now you're to Alexa. Um. Uh, I am surrounded. Uh, shit. Aim and attack. There are only two of them in the room. One of them is by the door, or uh, on the opposite end of the room, and another one is just kind of standing by the wall that you injured through, where there is no door anymore. Okay, I'll go to the closer one. All right, he's just kind of standing there, just kind of looking up at you. I will charge him. All right. Without any air left in your lungs, you charge straight at him. Do, do, do. That is six damage, and I'm just confirming. Yeah, they, they ain't good at dodging. Uh, do, do. So he takes a sizable chunk of damage. Uh, to do. Gustav is going to take 18 rounds to cast. Okay. Uh, do, do. do. Right, so you took your axe and you hit him in the left arm. More or less easy to do. You do have to kind of bend down in order to reach him in the first place, but you kind of do a downward chop straight at him. And at that, he kind of looks up at you and bears sharp, pointy teeth. Totally not a Skaven. All right, moving back to the door and opening it. There is a wall. There is no door. Well, then... You want to give a perception check? Yes. Let's see. Does he have no fortune points? No faith points? So, yeah, he's shit out of luck. Yep. He's not very fortunate. So, can he smash the uh, beast at the door that w where it was? Sure he can. Uh, Alexa is already on top of it, so go ahead and give it a go. All right, so that gives me a plus 10? Yes. That 
as a definite hit. And that'll end up as a two-point critical. Two-point critical on the right arm. Indeed. First to the left, now to the right. He's gonna be armless. Two points. Yes, two points. Arm struck and uh, cannot be used for one round. He goes a little limp at his side, exactly at the moment in which he was trying to reach at his side for what looks to be a broken piece of glass. He was gonna shiv me with that shit. Skaven to. My apologies. Is the other door still open? The one the the wind came through. Yes. I'm gonna run through that. All right, you run straight towards that door, uh, past the little red man and adjacent to it, and outside. Outside, you see, uh, as described, a gray, desolate, stony landscape marked with tiny little hills all around and darkness all above. And as you turn your head, you can see what is undoubtedly the sun, though you remember it being night before. But as you turn your head, you can see another body up in the sky. It looks like the moon, but it's more colorful. Blue and white and green. Right, because I'm on the moon. Wait, which yes. moon? Uh, you look down, it's not green. Right, but isn't the other one red? No, it's green. The other one is now... Back to uh, but go ahead and roll me another willpower. Pass again. All right. I'm gonna play this Pass guy, again. this this moon man henchman who's gone to the moon and back. The entire didn't think of anything the of it. Yeah. The entirety of the world is silent to you. Even your footsteps barely seem to have any sound. You can merely feel them through your body. The same thing with your heaving attempts to breathe as you run. But as you look up into the sky, instead of being utterly confounded, you're merely smote with the beauty of that which you see. And you realize you can see the shape of the continent you were on but moments before. And the entire world feels small to you. Um, I'm going to give you a plus 10 to literally anything you want next. Uh, and we will follow it up then with their turns. <clears throat> the one next to you who has his arm broken now uh, is sort of looking at you all and gravely considering his options. Uh, and of his options, he thinks taking the two of you is not a prize idea, so he is going to uh, take the henchman's idea, and he is going to run outside. Uh, I believe that will mean that you will go ahead and get attacks on him, seeing as he has to actually make the whole distance. All right. So, Alexa, you can go ahead and uh, take a swing. Okay. That is a miss. What about uh, our other Henshi? No! Swing and miss! It dodges and ducks and weaves and goes straight underneath Alexa's legs. Uh, and then its pointy-hatted figure rushes outside with the other henchman. With Skaven 2. Gustav, you are preparing your spell. It's going to take you 18 rounds, isn't it? Uh, Victor is waiting in contemplation for it as well. Alexa. Okay, so there's... In this room, there's a button and a door or a portal that's open? Uh, on the other side of the room was a... Is a small... Is one of the hidden people next to a button where there is an open door leading outside. Or as you, much as you could assume outside. It looks like stone and darkness. 
Um, next to you uh, is the spot where you came in from, but there does not appear to be any door in it. Okay. Um, making the logical leap, I am going to run to the one with the button and try to push the button. Okay. You rush over and try to push the button. Ah, uh, to do so, you run all the way, and he attempts to block your way. Uh, go ahead and roll me in agility. Oh. Make rolls public. There we go. Uh, he did not succeed. What happens is a slightly comical exchange as he tries to step in front of the button, putting his hands up and trying to stretch and block them out. And you realize for a moment that you are a good four feet taller than him and you reach around his pointy hat. You push the button and the door outside closes, leaving uh, Skaven to you outside. Oops. <laughs> Totally not a Skaven. What are you doing? It's good to um, run over to where Alexa is. All right, you are already... Oh, right, you have to run all the way across the room to it. Uh, that will be your full action. Okay. Skaven 2. Door behind you shuts, and there does not appear to be, uh, well, anything. I'm going to look for an oasis. An oasis. I'm breathing uh, something. Alright, give me a perception check. I right, got a plus 10%. <laughs> I'd like how every other time we do something now, we're gonna have... Okay, now Skaven 2, you've built your home out of moon dust. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, there is yet no oa oasis on the moon that you can spot. Berthold, you look up and you see the man on the moon. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> uh, alright. So it is their turn. And, uh, though you can feel, uh, the coldness of air touch you again, the small hidden person looks over at the button and then pushes the button again. And just looks at you a little defiantly. Uh, the one outside, however, is going to skip away from Skaven 2. And skips off into the lunar distance. Uh, Gustav. Is still in the midst of uh, his casting. Victor is watching on. Expectingly. Alexa. All out attack this little bastard. All right. Uh, so he has gone ahead and taken a parrying stance. So he will have a bare chance to try to stop you. Aha. And his little bit of broken glass will go ahead and stop you. It looks like it's a beer bottle. And kind of like hits it against the wooden shaft of your axe as it comes down at him. Ah. Uh, totally not a Skaven. Uh, we're going to play chopsticks on this guy's nugget. All uh, right. Uh, so. <laughs> and you get a plus 10% because we're two to one. And he's already parried. Yay! All right, that is a hit for eight. He is taking that hit to his arm like a champ. Though, he takes it with a little bit of a silent oof. Skaven 2. Your buddy is skipping off in the distance. There's no oasis on the moon. Well, there's, there's uh, one more attack night. coming. You forgot my attack coming. I did a swift attack. I thought that was your attack. I have a swift attack. He has two attacks. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that is another hit. Damage. Yeah, go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, eight. That is a one point critical. I'm sorry, I forgot they had two attacks. Uh, so give me that one point body critical. It is knocked to the ground and winded. It collapses to the ground, unable to press the button again. There we go. Uh, I believe he pressed the button again. The air is uh, out again. The door is open. Uh, and it, but it would merely take someone to press it. Gustav, you're still in the middle of casting. Alexa. Um, well, he's down, so all out attack. He can't parry me. Yes. All hits and tests and attackers. Attack up for minus 30. All right. You go for his left arm while he's on the ground. And you will take a five point critical to his left arm. I spitefully chop him through this the shoulder uh, as I cut an artery and he falls over in a torrent of blood. Take that. All right. There's one less hidden person. All right. Uh, and that will... End the combat, but we will still do turns just to determine actions. Totally not a Skaven. What are you doing? The door is wide open to the outside. Okay, uh, did the button get pressed? Uh, no, it didn't, but uh, Skaven 2 is still outside. All right. Um, going to wait for him to come in and then press the button. All right, so you will wait. Uh, Skaven 2, are you going to come back inside? Hell no, I love the moon. All right, you are... My parents Definitely fucking named me Skaven too. I gotta get the hell out of here. Someone's gonna eventually kill me. <laughs> but yeah, hell yeah, I'm breathing something up here. It's gotta no, be. You're not. Like you say, I'm so dumb that I don't understand that I'm not breathing. I mean, you could be, but I, I was hoping I was making it clear. You are not breathing anything right now. Well, then you're and not I've made that clear. You said I didn't hear the sound of me breathing. Right. Because there is no sound. Right. <laughs> but yes. you can feel your lungs aren't drawing anything, and there's an increasing tightness around your throat and chest. See, that's not the it way... <laughs> that's not how space really works. So, I understand this is a fantasy but, game. But by now or frozen but yeah yeah well uh, more or less to the point you are suffocating right now. more to the point that everything every liquid and gas in my body would be trying to force its way out of me right now actually and that is why your eyes and mouth are sizzling well then i am dead i'm just dead man <laughs> <laughs> totally not escaping probably just watches me float off away as I make I, I one jump, say, one, one running jump, looking for an the way oasis. The suffocation rules work is as follows: once per minute, you make a toughness. Jump. Yeah, I know, but I'm not attached to this henchman character. And I just think it's exactly. funnier that I'm just running around looking for an oasis, and I just leap off and just stop moving, just start floating you, off. You go space mad, and you hop off into the distance with your gnome buddy. <laughs> just something to you know fall back to Earth at some point later. All right. So, given that you're inside, uh, you see your buddy skipping away, and uh, would you press the button and just leave him outside forever? Since we're yes. suffocating, we, yes. We All can't, right, you um, press the button, and we're... you have fresh air again. Is the room? Uh, does it? The room have the cannons and the boxes in it? Indeed, it does. Oh, thank goodness. Well, um, this is outside of my realm of expertise, and isn't there some guy in a tube? 
Yes, there yes. is. He's still staring at you throughout all of this. He's reaching up an arm, and he's kind of like tapping on the glass. Um, I have an axe. <laughs> all right. So you can go ahead and try to break the glass. Yeah, I'm chopping him out of there. So to recap, <laughs> we entered in a little weird door that led us to the moon, where we suffocated but didn't suffocate, and there's a guy in a tube. This is all insane. This is madness. Indeed. Uh, do I have to make an attack roll, or...? Uh, no. Uh, you're strong enough to break the glass, definitely, after a few swings. And, uh, the guy come, comes pouring out, and you can see, like, the metal objects inside uh, snap apart out of his body as he collapses uh, on top of all the broken glass, uh, heaving and coughing. Oh, God. What is happening? What madness is this? I don't know. I was taken by them. Who are you? I'm Jeffrey. I'm one of the woodsmen of Bait Esselberg. Please, you have to help me. Uh, of course I will help, but where are we have to get back? How? Uh... They they use these doors everywhere, all around this thing, and I don't. Is uh... I don't know how they do it. Is there no more combat? Uh, there is. No more combat. I'm just wrapping up real quick. Uh, two things will happen slightly simultaneously. Uh, Gustav, you will finish your spell. Okay. It worked. Oh, my no chaos. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> You're a glowy boy. And... As the light of the star shines down upon you and glows for over a minute, all over you. And no, no arcane marks. No arcane marks. So you do, in fact, see a door right up against this wall. Now it is revealed to you in its entirety. I'm gonna open it. And as you open it, uh. Alexa, on the inside, you can see the door from which you came open up again on the side, as if from nowhere. But also, from the door that you had recently closed, that opened up to the outside, you see a small piece of paper flip under the door. Uh -huh. I'll take the piece of paper. On it? See what it is? It reads the following. Show you where they are. Never bother us ever again. Undersigned. Us. And a space is left open underneath. I tear it up. All right. You tear it up. You step out. Um, I'm pushing the cannons out through the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You you push that. the cannons out through the door uh, and back into the town. By the way, just out of curiosity, is the key dropped anywhere? I'm trying to think. No, the, the key isn't anywhere here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but we will go ahead and wrap it on that note as everyone steps through the door and the door closes behind them once more. And everyone is back on the, uh, back in Bade Esselberg with full air and the darkness of night and the moon up above. And somewhere in the distance is a frolicking henchman hand in hand with the hidden people. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Actually, not insane. Actually, not insane. Couldn't be but, more sane. But yet, nonetheless, everyone will get 200 experience for this session. Yay! Thank you. And I know how some of us are feeling, so I will go ahead and wrap it up right here. I'm sorry. It's understandable. I'm kind of feeling a bit the same, too.
Uh, so I'll go ahead and take rest, and I will see some of you a little bit later. Okay. Well, thanks for running, and feel better. Yeah, thank you for running. All right. Thanks, everyone. Catch you in a bit. Bye.